We will be doing a, a major event on May the 28th, a part of the uh, National Take Back the Land campaign, where we're going over there where they built these new condominiums and make them open it up to the people that used to live there. So for people who can do a little traveling, if you put the weekend of May 28th, 29th, and 30th on your calendar, we will be getting down in New Orleans. Uh, uh, while we're here, we have a, a lady, Viola Francois Washington, has been telling me about this lady forever. She's always telling me how this lady has been out here for years and years, even though she's very young. You know, she has been out here since she was really an infant. So I, I would uh, like to, to bring up Ms. Miriam Kramer from the National Welfare Rights Organization. And also, I thank the host uh, of, of, of many of us when we go up to Michigan, because she's also with the Detroit Welfare Rights Organization. So let's give her a big, big warrior's welcome. Thank you very much. It's, so, it's such an honor to be here because this is a, a historical day. And, you know, we talk about this day as far as the murdering of Dr. King and what he was doing at that time to try to put poverty on the agenda of the United States in 1968. And when he was moving to do that with the mule train, right, they killed him the next day. So this is not a easy undertaking that you're taking on today. It don't look like it might be a lot of people, but it don't take a lot of people to start a movement. You, you're the ones that are in the forefront, and you know they're gonna try to black us out on the news media, because they don't want people to understand the plight of poverty in this nation. It is worse today than it was in 1968. There are more children in poverty now than in 1968. There are more people without homes today than in 1968. So what you're taking on today is not only to expose the problem that we are having here, and you know, it's criminal. This par parish over here, St. Bernard Parish, was a parish that in the Civil Rights Movement we could not even go into because they had, they had said if, we, if the civil rights workers come into there, Leona Perez was going to put us into the old slave camps where they used to keep the slaves. And, you know, and, and, and what he was going to do as far as killing us and everything else over there. And here today stands, you know, again, they're still trying to keep the sections of the working class out of that area over there. They're still trying to make sure that, you know, they're controlling, and I say they, for the benefit of these corporations at our expense. So when you go out on this, it's trying, look, it looks like it's going to look like it's not going to be many people, but I guarantee you, we're going to try to build this movement. My task is to try to build this movement all over the United States as you plot in the land, I mean, uh, you know, on the route to, to Detroit. The rest of us got to be able to get the word out and tell them to focus on what you're doing at the time and joining you on weekends and what have you. Look here, I felt like I was already on the caravan coming down here. I had, if my daughter hadn't volunteered and said, Mom, I'm going to help you to drive, you know, I think I still would be on the highway coming from Detroit because we went from Detroit to, what, Dallas? and turned around last night and came back into Baton Rouge and back here. Because, you know, we're trying to spread the word on the one hand, and two, trying to, uh, trying to uh, see families that we haven't seen in a long time. It's a huge job, but it can be done. And I got faith in you that we're going to do this. We're getting ready in Detroit for this U.S. Social Forum, and one of the key events that is taking place is the event that you are participating in. If we, don't, if we don't move to help put poverty on, uh, here in this nation, you know, on the agenda, then they will be the one, a lot of victories here at our expense. Each time they move to bail out these corporations, more and more people go deeper and deeper into poverty. Each time they move to bail out these corporations, more and more, uh, more and more young people will not realize a future as far as having no jobs or, or having homes and food on the table. So th the future is up to you, young people. And how are we gonna? What are we gonna do? We we have not never tried. We've never tried this one before. 
marching from the south all the way to Detroit and making sure folks understand the connection of Detroit to the south and the poverty that is linked down here. That, you know, if you're in Detroit and you're in poverty, you know, you got a linkage with folks that are in the south that are in poverty. What they're doing in here to try to get back into your homes and what have you, it's the same thing that's happening in Detroit because now they're talking about downsizing the city. They're downsizing the city, not for the benefit of the people in the city. They're downsizing the city to build these big industrial parks and, and put industrial parks in places where people used to live and not have to recognize unions, don't have to recognize minimum wages, don't have to recognize none of the laws that have been fought for and passed to protect workers. It's all at our expense. So you have a big job before you. But I want to hear your voices. I want to hear your mouths on, on, on the uh, caravan. And I don't want you to believe for one minute that you're along out here. Because you're the army that we've been waiting for. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of you. And thank you for taking on this journey. Because just like they moved, I'm telling you, when they moved the next day to kill Dr. King, it was stop and try, try to stop this uh, as a part of what he had taken on to stop this from becoming a part of the agenda at the time. He had taken on the quest to organize and be a part of the garbage workers. He had taken on the quest to become a part of the whole struggle against poverty. And at the same time, he was talking about the peace movement. And they didn't like that because they wanted him to stay where they figured that he needed to be in the civil rights era. We're not in the civil rights era no more. We're talking about human rights. We're talking about the possibility of our children being able to have a future, not looking at the, the situation that is happening all around this country, schools closing, children not able to have, look towards a future of recreation in their community, in their schools. The fact that workers have worked all their lives and, and you know, you come out of these filthy plants and places like that and you don't even have a pension no more because they didn't taken the pension and, you know, the pension has been given away to the corporation. You are in the forefront of a lot of this stuff. And we're going to be trying to pull UAW and all the rest of them out here and let them know they need to be out here marching with you. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you on, on the caravan. In and out, in and out, but keep keep it going. Thank you very much. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my sister. You humble us.